Well, hello everybody and welcome. Today, yes, welcome. Yes. we have uh, a couple of questions from Tony, well, don't we? We have indeed, yes, mm. and we're going to answer them. So, yes. uh, I did answer them on uh, Facebook. I got the questions through Facebook, and uh, mm. the short answer to these questions is no and yes. But I thought that the mm. questions, that I'll just tell you in a moment yeah. uh, deserved a bit of a better answer don't they they do indeed because, yes yeah um yeah. tony says he's been traveling mm. uh, across to europe france spain portugal mm. a lot of wild camping in wales but he'd heard rumors that you can only go to europe for three months out of six so that's why mm. you know my answer to that question is no that's not true but um there's no real law or rule that says you can't do that, is there? But, but it, it is, might have something uh, to do with... Medical things, because medical you things. can only get three months' worth of your prescriptions. Now, so that is the thing. You need th to work around the, that, yes. I think yeah. further to no that... No doctors will give you more than three months, else I think and, they'll strike you off. And, yeah, if they... Yeah. If, if you, they know, if you if say you you're say, going for six months... Well, I'm going on holiday for six months, yeah, they'll they remove will. you from their yeah, books. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I don't know, I've never so, asked them, but... Well, we have positive proof of that, because mm. as soon as we moved away from the Chester area mm. and we phoned our doctors... Well, Wendy phoned the doctors mm. to say... Look, we're moving out of the area. Can I get my prescriptions? How do I, how do I manage that? They said, find a new doctor. Yes, You're not on our books no, anymore. We haven't, and that was, any. that was like as we were traveling mm. out of the county. Yeah, so we hadn't even days. left them yes. yet. I hadn't so, registered with another doctor. I didn't know where we were going. It was very... So you have to be mm. really careful mm. about what you say to your yes, doctor you when do. you are going mm. to Europe for a bit of an extended time. Now... It's not impossible to get mm. medicines abroad. You can get repeat prescriptions from doctors over there. We've not had personal no, experience with that. I don't know how much they are or anything. So many no. people have said, haven't they, mm. that that's what they do. And a lot of people, although I'm not sure about this thing, a lot on the, on the medical front, a lot of people say, well, they stockpile mm. medicines, like they take one less a week. Mm. And they stockpile yes. them up for months yeah. so that they've got Enough. that extended period and then they still get their or, or like I've three heard months worth of prescriptions. So, they, so they've got yeah. a bit of a stockpile and That's they've got their it. three months worth. They do that yeah. and then also people get family. They order them online and they get family to collect them so, and send yeah. them out to them. Yeah, they sort of package them up. Although but, yeah, you need to be careful about that because that mm. in itself may be illegal. It mm. may be cross-border Drug, tra drug trafficking, I'd, which can land you in mm. prison. I'd, I'd like to know because yeah, I'm taking really, really a controlled drug and I'd like to know yeah. if, you, if someone could post that out to me. I don't know if you it's could unlikely. do that. It's unlikely. I think it's unlikely because if it got no. sniffed by a dog and you know, it was tracked to yeah, us... Yeah, but it's not an illegal the, drug. It's a controlled drug. It's on prescription in the UK. I mean, it doesn't no, mean well, to say that. It's, that it's not mean, like cannabis. I'm not trying to get... No, 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 but well, if you transported cannabis uh, mm. to a foreign country, the foreign country might say, well, that's okay, that's elite, that's yeah. just fine. Because maybe right? they prescribe legal. cannabis, but they don't, I don't think they do in but this country, I don't know. But recently don't in the do. news, yeah. somebody took tramadol to one of these, uh, I can't remember where it was, Saudi Arabia, somewhere like mm. that. Mm. They took a big stack of like two or three months worth of tramadol mm. for their boyfriend's back pain. Mm. Not sure why they were carrying them in their suitcase. Their boyfriend had said, take these to me. But mm. she landed in prison mm. for taking a controlled substance, an illegal drug in mm. Saudi. So, you know, you need to be really careful about what you do and how you mm. do it. You, you yeah. know, you can't just say, oh, well, post it out to me, no matter what no. it is. No. You have to be careful and check it out. We don't know enough. I mean, we've no. never been there. So, you know, it's so, just things we hear from other people. So don't go by what we would, say. It's only hearsay. Yeah. I don't know. So that's one no, of the issues about going for more than three months. Yeah. And he's also said the that... Other, no, in, no, the, yeah. the other issue... Yes about going for more than three months might be your motorhome insurance. Yeah. And your motorhome insurance might apply some limitation mm. to going abroad. They mm. might say, well, you can spend three months out of the country yeah. in any six. 
like we've got full-time motorhome insurance yeah. and we can spend six months in any other country in any 12 months mm. so we could go for to spain for three months mm. we could go to portugal for three months we could come back into spain and spend another three months in spain but we then must leave spain yeah and go to go mm. to France uh, and come back. So you know we, we'd have to come back, mm. um, probably every nine months. Okay, so the, check out your own insurance yes. restrictions yeah. because they'll be different, mm. and every insurance policy will be different. So you need to check that out. Mm. And make sure that mm. you're not violating your insurance because. So you help, Anything we happens. need to have more information how the people that go there for six months, lots yeah. of people say, oh, they go there for six months. We need to know how they sort it out. Well, it depends on I the insurance. It yeah. depends on the yeah. insurance. I want and, to know. You, know yeah. you, can, you can very often We're declare, novices, really. declare We're that no. you're going yeah. to um, stay for more than three months and your insurance company say, well, that's another 20 quid mm. or whatever. Mm. Whatever. The, they uplift the premium for you and just do that. But there's another question as mm. well isn't there the mot do you have to return to the uk mm. for that and i think yeah. the answer is yes i think you do yeah I we've asked this how. question yeah. we've got an mot coming up in april mm. next year so the van will be three years old on the 12th mm. of april yeah and although lots of people have said well the uk mot doesn't apply in mm. france and mm. spain you won't need one hmm I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true mm. in its own right, but you have to be aware that your insurance company, once again, will only hold you covered on insurance mm. if you have a legal vehicle. Mm. So if you drive your van yes. yeah. illegally, mm. like no MOT mm. or no tax or, you know, whatever, they won't insure you. No. So, although you might not need it, mm. essentially, you know, you know, it might not be absolutely necessary, you won't be covered on your insurance. And if anything happens, you yeah. have a little knock no. or a scrape or a policeman stops you and says, are you insured? It's not worth it, I don't you think. You know, because no. they're going to check it out yeah. back with the English. Uh, it's just, it's mm. just more of a nightmare than you know what to do with. Mm. If you're unsure that you've got time to go... Um, abroad and back by the time your MOT is due, have it done before you go. Mm. It's quite yeah. legal. Within a month yeah. of the MOT date, mm. you can have 13 months MOT applied. Mm. Mm. But if you go uh, sooner than your MOT is due than a month before, like if you went three, three months, months or six before. months before, yeah, you, you could ha still have it done. Mm. I mean, we could have our MOT done now yes. if we wanted yeah. to. And go and for a would, year, couldn't we? It would we? just yeah. last us a year yeah. until oh. the 2nd of August next year, mm. which, you know, just shorten mm. the mm. MOT free period that we get. Mm. So you can have it done every month if you want to, uh, it, you, know, it, mm. you know, if that's the way you want to go. So... Um, there's That's another it. little question oh, there, isn't one? there? Yes. Yeah. Some oh, you say need a, you need a visa. You need a visa. Yeah. What do you reckon? No, I don't think you do. No. We're currently in the EU. Yeah, we are. Right? We don't we're need not, one. We're not no. Brexited yet. We're no. not out of the EU. Mm. So previously to the EU being in the common market, I think you probably would have needed a travel visa. Mm. Um, and that may be the case after Brexit. We don't know. No, we don't know. No, no. one knows that. No. That's no. all down to negotiation. Personally, I think it's unlikely. Mm. I think there'll still be visa-free mm. um, travel between the EU27 and the UK. Mm. I yeah. think that'll, you know, you won't need a visa. You just need to show your passport mm. and you'll be, you'll be good mm. to go. Might be some extra checks like, you know, are you a criminal or, mm. you know, mm. we're not letting you in, all that sort of stuff. Same sort of thing that you get with America and mm. Australia. Mm. So same same stuff, yeah. I reckon. Mm. But those are the answers. <laughs> Short answer is yeah. no and no, yes. No, no, but yeah. those are the long answers. Yes. 
Um, so I hope that's all right, Tony. I hope that's explained yeah. <laughs> everything. Yeah. There was another quick question we had. I was going to demonstrate, but we're, we're all set up. Yeah. It was about how do we level yeah. a tag axle van? Well, we just use those levelling ramps, mm. you know, the, the standard ones that people drive up onto and park mm. caravans on. We've got two of them. Yeah. One goes under the front wheel. So if we need to level side to side, mm. one goes under the front wheel and one goes under the mm. forward tag axle, so the the middle wheel. Mm. Uh, and then we just drive up. Mm. Wendy stands there, yeah. <laughs> beckons me forward. Yeah. I'm watching her all the mm. time, hoping mm. that she'll do that yeah. <laughs> when I get to the top and I don't go over. Mm. So far, it's so worked really good. well. Yeah, has, Wendy's done it. a great job and, of that. And do you know, we want to... Do I um, get to know me tags? So if any of you have got Ooh. any questions you want to ask us, we'll do a, a separate video about it. Yeah. So ask us anything you like within reason. We'll answer it. Within so if reason. you want to get yeah. to know us better, get just us ask better. us. Leave us some just questions. We love it. Put them in the yeah. comments below yeah, this below video. This video and, and let us know and we'll do our very best to answer them. One we? other, one other mm. request that I have mm. from mm. you the happy traveller nation out there, mm. is YouTube are doing something different. Mm. Um, they're using hashtags. So mm. would you do me a big favour and when you comment, if you comment, or oh. just comment, yeah. in the comment section below and put up, yeah. hashtag mm. full-time motorhome, mm. one word. Yeah. Hashtag full-time motorhome. Yeah. If you put that in the comment, that picks, all right. I, yeah. I just want to see whether our videos mm. can be up in the rankings mm. for full-time motorhome mm. if we just do that in the mm. comments because no one's really sure about how it all works yet and mm. it'd be nice to know mm. and it'd be great information for everybody out there who's mm. also got a YouTube channel. Yeah. And by the way, if you do have a YouTube channel, put that in the comments below yeah, too. Because we want to subscribe and, and watch you. Yeah. yeah, we do. And we love it. Yeah. We love watching you all. Yeah. <laughs> if you put your YouTube channel in the in the section below, in the comments below, mm. put hashtag shout out after mm. it. Mm. Okay. Mm. We'll see you all again tomorrow. Yes, yeah. This is Little we Pips. Oh, we love we are yeah. the happy travellers. Yes, we are. We live full time mm. in our motorhome and travel around the UK and Europe. If you've liked this video and mm. you want to see more, press the subscribe button. Mm. And if you want to get reminders for when we upload a video, and we've just started uploading more videos every mm. day, mm. click the bell or yeah. ring that bell. Yeah. <laughs> ring my bell. Okay. And thank you for watching we and commenting. We are going to see you, you yes. again tomorrow. Yeah. Take care till yeah. then. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. And bye-bye from Pippin. Hot and tired she is. It's been such a hot day. Yeah. Bye.